guys, in this video I'm going to explain the difference between frames and sections and when to use one and the other. Now we're going to start with an example of a recent web app which I worked on for a AI client who recently raised a couple millions in funding and basically what uh, I'm using uh, in order to create uh, the actual screens uh, or frames. So if you look at uh, the left side panel in the layers, uh, you can see that uh, for the very most part, uh, I'm uh, simply using frames uh, and uh, groups uh, within uh, these uh, frames inside of them. And uh, this uh, is going to be the default for pretty much every project. Uh, so if you're creating an iOS app, uh, you're going to use frames to contain those screens. If uh, you're creating a presentation, each presentation uh, slide is going to be within frames. So frames are going to be the artboards that contain your screens uh, or design projects. Now where sections uh, are really useful, is uh, when you need to create uh, a group of uh, different frames, aka screens. So for example, let's say that uh, I'm working on a set of uh, uh, dashboard screens uh, or onboarding screens, I can uh, create uh, a section and rename it to, for example, onboarding, or, and I can, re can create easily multiple uh, sections for different uh, as you might have understood, sections of the app. So this is going to be really useful and easy to basically maintain projects at scale. But sections aren't just for a visual hierarchy and for organizational purposes, because sections are going to be really useful for prototyping features as well as they bring a new layer of possibilities when it comes to the prototyping part. And I'm going to explain you with a live example. In this case, we have a frame, which is going to be the home screen. And I can easily select this element and apply it to this second section so that it's going to work independently in two different flows. So I, I have this first start flow, and then uh, this is going to connect to, to the second section, which is going to create a secondary flow. So this is going to make it very easy if uh, we have a look uh, uh, live to create uh, these very organized prototypes, which uh, before the introduction of sections, uh, we had uh, difficulties in creating this uh, these flows. So this uh, is uh, definitely something that uh, is uh, quite useful and that uh, you can create uh, and connect uh, different flows uh, to different sections in uh, no time. And also with uh, this uh, very neat uh, visual um, hierarchy, which uh, is going to make all the difference whenever you're working on uh, complex projects, especially. So this is uh, pretty much uh, it when it comes to when to use uh, a section and when to use uh, a frame. Hope this video was helpful. And if you want to learn more about Figma entirely for free, we have hundreds of videos uh, in our YouTube channel, as well as multiple resources and blog posts uh, on our site, which I'm leaving in the link in the description.